Scenes of street fights between police and anti-government demonstrators have become wearily familiar over the more than three months of protests in Venezuela. But the opposition parties now say what they call zero hour has arrived. In less than two weeks, President Maduro will begin the process of rewriting the constitution. He says it's the only way to deal with a divided and economically failing country. The opposition insists it's really to wipe out the last checks on his power. The international community share that concern. US President Donald Trump has promised swift and strong but unspecified sanctions if Maduro goes ahead. The reaction was instant and heated. The proposal of the original constituent power and for the National Constituent Assembly is already in the hands of the people and solely belongs to the sovereign people of Venezuela, who will exercise their right to vote on July 30 and to no one else. But the Venezuelan people are anything but united. More than 7 million came out to vote against changing the constitution in an unofficial referendum this Sunday. That's emboldened the opposition-dominated National Assembly to appoint new Supreme Court judges. The current judges are loyal to the government and have frequently blocked opposition legislation. On Friday, the Assembly will appoint new judges. It's a flawless process, a process that should get international recognition, a process that allows us to bring the change in public powers that we have been waiting for. The opposition has also called a national strike this Thursday. But there's a limit to the pressure it can exert domestically while the government still has the support of police and the military. The opposition knows that it needs all the help from the international community that it can get. And President Trump's administration has said that in terms of sanctions, nothing is off the table. The toughest measure it could impose is a ban on Venezuelan oil. The country is the United States' third largest supplier. But if it does that, then petrol prices for Americans will go up. So the question for the United States and for the rest of the world is how far are they willing to go to intervene? John Holman, Al Jazeera, Cúcuta, Colombia.